Branford's downtown has been experiencing growth and revitalization steadily for over a decade now, establishing itself as one of 25 recognized urban growth centers in the province of Ontario. Until the 1980s, Branford had a prosperous manufacturing base that supported city growth. However, by the mid-1980s, an economic crisis caused manufacturing to decline for the span of a decade. By the late 1990s, suburban development had picked back up, but disinvestment in downtown Brantford had caused the once thriving commercial retail core to crash. Through careful planning and strategizing, this began to change in 1999 as a new revitalization model came into effect. You gotta start with the introduction of the casino uh, because that's where the dollars came to really revitalize the downtown. So the casino, uh, we sold the Icon building for the dollars to start the university. Uh, we used the, the money from that to uh, renovate our Carnegie Endowment Library, which was a turnkey operation. We handed it over, said, run post-secondary and start. And they started with 39 students 15 years ago this past October, and they are now 3,200 students in 15 years, which is quite remarkable. A unique approach to revitalization in the downtown core emerged, labeled the post-secondary downtown. As post-secondary expansion occurs, the university community connects with downtown on a multitude of different levels. In order to open a satellite campus, they needed to have a library. And having to build a library is a very costly uh, thing to have to do. So uh, the Brantford Public Library got on board right at the very beginning and we decided ha that we could take part and we have provided library service to them since then. So it's grown a lot over the years. The partnership between Laurier and the City of Brantford really has set the standard for urban economic revitalization in Ontario. We've been working together with the city since 1999 and uh, we currently have 3,000 students in Brantford, uh, more than 275 staff and we occupy uh, 20 or more uh, repurposed and new buildings in the downtown core. The Laurier campus in Brantford is fully integrated into the downtown and that means that our students have the advantage of uh, really participating in the community and being a part of, uh, of what is a very exciting and vibrant downtown. As downtown began to re-emerge as a growing employment environment, business began to invest in the core, facilitating further growth. We've been in a lot of cities over the years and a lot of downtowns. And when it came to the point we wanted to consolidate all our operations into one city, it was unquestionable that that would be downtown Brantford. The revitalization that's been going on the last few years with the help of the university and post-secondary education has been phenomenal and we just knew it was a great time to be investing in downtown and to bring more people into the downtown. We chose downtown Brantford because we were so excited about the changes that had gone on over the last 10 years. It was completely unrecognizable from the last time I had been downtown and uh, we were so excited about it that we decided that we really wanted to be part of the revitalization. The City of Brantford's ability to leverage assets and build partnerships has facilitated the successful re-emergence of the downtown core. Through the increased traffic that accompanies the expansion of Wilfrid Laurier University, the partnership between the city and the OLG Casino to generate jobs, and the downtown Brantford BIA support of businesses, cultural events, and the repurposing of heritage buildings, downtown Brantford has become a truly unique example of how partnerships build a strong, thriving community. The plans for growth continue from here. With the help of the partnerships that have been made, many plans are already in action to help rejuvenate the rapidly growing downtown core into being something better than it ever was. Well, the City of Brantford has developed master plans for water, wastewater, and stormwater that provides uh, an assessment of what growth is going to look like in the future in terms of these collection and distribution systems. The uh, master plans are correlated with the official plan and downtown intensification strategies, and of course the uh, strategy that Laurier uses to develop its campus. Also, City of Brantford's uh, downtown transit terminal is a very important feature of the downtown in that it's a primary access point for students coming to the campus uh, to support businesses in the downtown for their growth. Um, a key component of that is uh, in, in 2014, the City of Brantford 
embarked on a business case for Go Transit. Uh, we've been lobbying uh, Metrolinx for a Go Transit connection. That connection will also feed into the transit terminal, provide access for interregional transit for commuters, for students, and as well, we're also participating in an interregional transit uh, study with uh, Cambridge, Guelph, Regional Waterloo that will feed into that terminal and, and provide opportunities for the future. So the transit terminal will grow based on the outcomes of these uh, investigations. In 2016, we have a, a capital plan to uh, do some refurbishing of the existing terminal. And then as the campus grows and as the downtown grows, we have in 2023 and 2024 a major capital restructuring of the entire terminal. The Urban Growth Center of downtown Brantford will continue to grow into the future through the city's strategic planning. It's really about getting bodies downtown and having a purpose for the downtown. That's what it's about and that's why other communities are looking at what we're doing. Probably the biggest plan is the development of the Y Laurier Athletic Complex on the south side of Colburn Street across from Harmony Square, which is going to bring a whole different group of people to the downtown who probably haven't been here before. One of our most important new projects is our, the athletics facility that we're building in partnership with the YMCA and government funders, including the city. Uh, that project on Colburn Street will bring uh, residents and community members from Brantford and uh, the surrounding communities into the downtown core and will become a hub of activity for our students. Uh, it's going to be a, a real center point for activity, I think, in the city once it's completed. In five years from now, I think the downtown is going to be thriving with even more restaurants and uh, more retail. Given the amount that has gone on in the last 10 years and the commitment that we've seen from the city in improving the downtown, I think the changes are going to be astronomical and well worth it. If you look back 10 years and said, what would it look like today? I don't think anybody imagined that it was going to be revitalized so quickly as it has. So five years from now, uh, with the new YMCA Laurier Recreation Complex that's coming up, that's going to bring even more people that are downtown. I think we'll start to see condos uh, and other things and in the next five to ten years uh, the change is going to be as big or bigger as it's been in the last ten years. The downtown is going to be a very vibrant place with lots of activity year-round and uh, lots of new businesses and new opportunities for uh, commercial enterprises to support the campus and uh, the city of Brantford as it grows. Laurier has recently acquired uh, the Market Square property which will add about 300,000 square feet to our downtown campus. In time that will become a hub of activity for the campus and uh, is a real strong signal of our uh, long-term growth plans here in the community. It's evolved so much in 15 years and every year it looks different because of what we've been able to accomplish. I wish in 10 years I knew what it was going to be. I know it's going to be successful, it's going to be more successful, but I don't even, I'm, I'm excited to, to wait and see what's going to come out of it.